and moderator, distinguished guests, panelists, members of the youth, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon and comrades dear greetings to all of you. I would like to thank YouthNet for Climate Justice for organizing such a timely event in partnership with British High Commission in Dhaka. I am indeed honored for the opportunity to send video messages. Bangladesh, as you know, ranks seventh in Global Climate Risk Index 2020, most at-risk country and a profound victim of, of global emissions. By 2050, rising sea levels will submerge 17% of Bangladesh coastlines and displace more than 20 million people. Each year, we lose 1% of our GDP to extreme climate events. More than 10 million Bangladeshis already became climate migrants, while we continue to generously host 1.1 million forcibly displaced Rohingyas from Myanmar. And yet, under the extraordinary climate stewardship of Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, Bangladesh has emerged as a global leader in adaptation, climate resilience, disaster risk reduction, and nature-based climate solution. Chair of the Climate Vulnerable Forum, Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, has announced the Mujib Climate Prosperity Decade 2030, charting a low-carbon development pathway for Bangladesh while making our economic growth more climate resilient. 30 million saplings are being planted nationwide as part of the Mujib Climate Prosperity Action decade, mostly by our women and youth climate, volunteers including many from the coast of Bangladesh. Last year, Bangladesh government cancelled plans for 10 coal-fired power plants. Bangladesh also submitted ambitious and quantified national determined contributions ahead of COP26 including a renewable energy target of 40% by 2041. Acknowledging the Bangladeshi youth climate movement, Bangladesh parliament was declared a planetary emergency and called on the world to work on a world footing to stop climate change. Bangladesh government is spending on an average 2.5% of our GDP. U.S. $5 billion each year in climate adaptation and resilience building alongside the Bangladesh Delta Plan 2100. Without waiting for external finance financing, government implemented more than 800 climate action projects from Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's self-financed $450 million U.S. dollar National Climate Change Trust Fund. We have known for over a decade, the Bangladesh, the country least responsible for global warming, is first in line to feel the full force of its effects. We need to understand that we are the rightful recipient of climate funds. Developed countries have promised $100 billion a year from 2020 onwards. According to climate experts, of the 20% funding, we only get 10%. From that 10 to 20 percent, only 2 percent of global funds reach the most vulnerable communities. Climate change adaptation is the most important challenge of our country. It cannot be accomplished by a single actor, a single country, or a single generation. It is a real race where every generation must build on each other's strength and work together to reach the finish line. Ladies and gentlemen, Young people are the first to be affected by environmental challenges facing our society. The Commonwealth's 54 member countries have a combined population of 2.5 billion people, of which more than 60% are under 30 years of age. Bangladesh Delta Plan 2100 is perhaps the best gift to the future generations by the federal government. Delta Plan 2100 would ensure the country's economic growth, water and food security, as well as environmental stability in the long run, overcoming various challenges 
especially adverse impact of climate change. The vision of the climate Delta Plan 2100 is to build a prosperous Bangladesh through adopting compact, comprehensive, and effective strategies befitting with the changes of time. The Delta Plan 2100 will be used for river dredging, river navigability, land raising from sea level and cultivation, housing, agriculture, and industrialization, etc., etc. The Delta Plan 2100, which was approved by the National Economic Council on September 4, 2018, has been framed with three national goals at higher level and six specific goals related to the Delta. The government has undertaken several projects, including rainwater conservation, to address the drinking water crisis in coastal and hilly areas. Once these are implemented, the crisis of portable water of the people and local industry in those areas will reduce. With this vision, the Ministry of Water Resources will start work on two separate projects. These projects will play a major role in groundwater refill, supply of potable water in disasters, reduction of salinities of water, development of agriculture, fisheries, and forestry. With the new IPCC report, the world's scientific community has confirmed with greater emphasis than ever before that climate change is trampling global justice. The poorest, most vulnerable, least equipped, and inconsequentially responsible populations are feeling the full force of the fury of climate disasters more than anyone else. This fundamentally unjust situation is an affront to human dignity. The international community must take bold action this year to deal with the loss and damage harming most vulnerable communities around the world and strengthen support and finance for their adaptation efforts. Despite being one of the most climate vulnerable countries, Bangladesh has made exemplary progress in adaptation planning and emerged as a stronger player in the global climate discourse. However, we have not solved all the problems and improvement is needed to make adaptation actions pro quo and inclusive. The IPCC report has also indicated the limits to adaptation and cascading loss and damage. The least developed countries are unable to address losses of lives, livelihoods, and damages of infrastructure, largely due to the unavailability of financial resources. Distinguished guests, we must collectively deliver on the Paris Agreement, including through the Glasgow Climate Pact and countries must further strengthen their pledges and urgently implement them at a scale at sharp L shape and beyond. Developed countries must follow through on their commitment to at least double their climate finance for adaptation to developing countries by 2025, aiming at achieving a balance between funding for adaptation and mitigation. The world must concrete and substantive progress on the Glasgow Sharm El Sheikh work program to implement the global goal on adaptation. We must also act with urgency to put in place the technical and financial support to deal with loss and damage, including through the Santiago Network and Glasgow Dialogue. With a decisive and immediate response, bringing transformation, adaptation together with rapid mitigation led by countries' plans, we can create a climate-resilient society with benefits for all. Dear friends, young people will be the most affected by climate change and must be meaningfully engaged in water resilience and climate change adaptation. The future of our planet depends on it. Youth are already mobilized in water resilience under climate change, including leading movements and initiatives policy making, conduct, conducting academic research, and undertaking design and construction of water infrastructure. Youth-led organizations like Youth Net for Climate Just Justice, Coastal Youth Action, Hub, Putiki Jugo Shangshan, British Council Active Citizens, 
are working on climate issues at the ground level. Despite showing capacity and capability, young people continue to face barriers to access knowledge, innovative, innovate, prove their competence, and adapt to the complex and dynamic nature of water resources and climate change. The most vulnerable communities are often neglected when it comes to capacity building opportunities or when it comes to involving them in important discussions and conversations that happen around climate change. I am urging COP26 presidency and development partners to support youth-led interventions around the Commonwealth by investing in adequate climate finance. In conclusion, I am pleased to join this webinar titled Youth Climate Action and the Commonwealth Field Experience and Solutions Celebrating Commonwealth Day 2022. I hope this event will create more opportunities for vulnerable young people and amplify their voice on the global stage. Climate Justice Now. I thank you all. Joy Bangla, Joy Bangabandhu, long live Bangladesh.